From a Texas mosque to a motel in Maryland, the FBI investigation is moving on several fronts. This surveillance photo shows two of the suspected hijackers. They're among as many as five men who may have stayed in this motel in Laurel, Maryland, a suburb of Baltimore, and disappeared the day before the attacks. It was five standing, it was in and out. They never associated with anybody. They just smiled, basically. Laurel, Maryland is also where Motaz al Halak now lives. He's the former leader of an Arlington mosque. While living in Arlington, Halak had ties to this man, Wadi El Hajj, convicted in the bombings of U.S. embassies in Africa and the one time personal secretary to Osama bin Laden. In Hajj's trial, prosecutors claimed Halak was also an operative of Osama bin Laden, but Halak was never charged. Back in Arlington, a supporter of Halak, Mohammed Abdo, is jailed on immigration charges. Sources say he's been on a hunger strike and is refusing to cooperate. But perhaps the biggest break of all were the arrests of these two men on a train in Fort Worth the day after the attacks. Police say they were carrying thousands of dollars in cash and box cutters. Maybe there weren't contingency plans and they're arguing over what's our next role, where do we go? And they got in a fight over it and somebody noticed them and now they're in custody. And that could be a huge break, especially if they cooperate. Scott Gordon, NBC5.